Let me tell you, the desert cannot quench the mother thirst of this b. Virtual reality. Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. And Evan, let the people know why we're here right now with the best guest of the year. I'm calling it. We are with the stunning, the iconic Ayan, the one namer from the Real Housewives of Dubai. Yes. How are you? Oh my God, we're so good. We're even better now that we're talking to you. I feel like the the main thing that I am wondering is like, how does it feel for you to, and you might not have to agree with this if you don't want to, how does it feel to be the breakout star of your show? Like you are the undisputed favorite. I mean, I think from fans to Andy to everybody loves you. How does that feel? Uh, I honestly, I appreciate that because I feel like it's the first time in my life where I actually feel such type of love. I got a message yesterday that Garcelle loves me so much and she really thinks I'm amazing and she loves everything about me. So that, that made me feel so special. Right. So if Kim Richards reaches out to me, sorry, the planet, I'm mother taking off. (laughs) What would be like your dream girls day with Kim Richards? Like, what does the itinerary look like? I just think like, because we're both, we don't take life so seriously. We're both silly. We go, we just have fun. We, we have, I think it will be like, we just go for breakfast, a brunch and we stay there and just drink. And then we go somewhere to a drag queen show or something and just have fun and dance all night. I would just love that. that is I, I would like that too. I, we would yeah. have to, me and Evan would hopefully be invited to one part of that because that yeah, sounds please. like so much fun. Yeah, I would yeah. Really and then a, a camera would absolutely be invited as well because this would need to be like a whole like mini Bravo special. Do you think any any form of therapy or maybe even Jesus himself could help your relationships with the Carolines, with both Brooks and Stanbury? Is is there hope for for you to become friends I think, with either? I think I think Jesus is gonna run as fast as a Kenyan man on a truck. So Stanbury. I can see a light under the tunnel because there's so many things about her that I like. But I just think she came into the show thinking she's bearer. Mm. Brooks, oh my God, that will never mother happen in this lifetime, in the next lifetime, in the next lifetime, or the next lifetime. I don't trust her. I really care about people that I can see trust and like. She is, she is bitter. Bitter. I've never met such a bitter human being that cannot be happy for somebody else. You know, like I haven't seen watch what happened live, but I've heard what's happened there. It's like, thank you. But first of all, let's clap for her for giving me all the publicity. Great job for Ayan. We clapping. Yes. But you know, but I can't, I can't. And you can see from the each episode, the way she is, literally how she is, is how she really is. Who is the thirstiest housewife in, in the Dubai group? Um, I'm going to be real. Have you, have you been to Twitter? Do you see what's happening? Twitter, on Twitter? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you see somebody that spends like a whole day like writing a book on Twitter? Where do you have time to do this stuff? Are are we talking about Brooks? Period. <laughs> and and on top of that, she's always on these spaces on Twitter with seven people listening to her. Like, girl, you're bringing the show down. Get your together. Get out of those spaces, and wait and talk talk about all this stuff on, 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 uh, on reunion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we, Thanks. you know what I mean? Like I'm not there because I know what I'm going to do in reunion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Save it for there. You know? So I just feel like she's the thirstiest one out of everybody. Do you like to have like a ticket ticket night? No. Don't look at me like that, honey. Absolutely not. Well, Our parents are in the house, Sergio. Baby, who's in the, the size of this place? <laughs> they were not even like, hear anything have your thoughts and feelings about sergio and caroline's marriage changed at all because i know at one point you called it an internship i mean is internship not a marriage until you're seven years if you're married after seven years is when you pass internship no Mm. okay all right i I mean you were there for the wedding do do you feel uh, a genuine love between them sip your red bull if you feel a genuine love (laughs) I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's a don't know sip. <laughs> Do you think there, it's a mutually beneficial relationship? Absolutely. Think- it is very beneficial. Absolutely very beneficial. Because can't you see Sergio is in every episode benefiting himself? Mm-hmm. He's every picture, every picture on Instagram. Who's the first face 
of anything. Do you know what he does? He seems like a nice guy. Like He does seem like he gets along with the ladies almost better than Stanberry. <laughs> but then he gets on Twitter. He's a good person. But I think on Twitter, it's not him texting because the boy is Spanish. He doesn't speak that type oh. of thing. You think that Caroline is tweeting for Sergio? Absolutely. Ooh, Absolutely. this is some key. Okay, wow. That, I, you kind of make Because if points. you go read both of them, it kind of looked the same. Sergio doesn't really write that that way. Uh, it's going to be your first reunion what yes. are you most looking forward to straightening out at the reunion oh where do i start a lot it's a lot i think that day i'll definitely do vitamins the day before because i think uh, i need energy and then i'll drink like 10 red bulls because it's gonna go hot it's gonna be like a volcano erupting it's i am gonna be the eruption because <laughs> i don't play well we, we've certainly never seen anything <laughs> like you on reality tv before ion you are such a gift to the bravo fandom and thank you so much thank for you. stopping by and chatting with us this was so much fun oh my god i had so much fun this was so much fun. i think this is my favorite interview for ever